What is up guys, Andy Forest Team Runner here and welcome back to another video. And today I'm giving you guys an update on the Asics Nova Blast 2 after 300 miles. <laughs> another great milestone now hit in the ASICS Nova Blast version 2. 300 miles and still going strong. As always with these longer term reviews we're going to be talking about the wear and tear, how I've been using them and then of course will I continue to use these things moving forwards which Spoiler alert, these things are absolutely nowhere near done. So if you're excited for today's video, guys, make sure you give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content, and let's kickstart with the wear and tear. So in terms of wear and tear with the shoe after 300 miles, it really is showing absolutely no signs of deterioration in the slightest. There are literally no snags on the upper. There are no snags in the midsole at all. In version one, I did find that a hole started to appear in and around this area, and that got bigger and bigger the more mileage we put in there, but that didn't appear until after 200 miles. So there's absolutely nothing in this shoe here. And then on the bottom, if we go from the top, the grip is still as it was. There's a few patches where it's starting to wear down, but honestly, it is so minimal, it's unreal. Now you have to bear in mind, we'll talk a little bit more about this shortly, about how I've been using the shoe from the 200 to 300 mile update. But you've got to bear in mind that I do take this on a variety of terrain. So I am out on the concrete. I am also out on the dirt trails, very flat trail. I mean, this isn't a trail shoe. I'm not talking trail running, proper trail running. But on the fire road trails, on the flat buffed out trails, this thing gets a good variety and a good chance to get scuffed up. And it's just holding up so well. If anything, compared to the version one, I kind of feel like this is built even more like a tank. So in terms of wear and tear, after 300 miles, still absolutely nothing. <laughs> So how have I been using the shoe between the 200 and 300 mile update or if you're new clicking onto this video how have I used it really across from zero to 300 miles it's been pretty pretty simple for me this is an easy and moderate run shoe and that's about it I've not used it really for anything else I've done the odd workout in it and I've done the odd tempo run in it but other than that this thing 90% has taken easy miles with a few moderate runs in there and actually the recent run that we did to get it up to a 300 miles was indeed a moderate run and it handled it absolutely perfectly. Now what I found with the No Blast version one was the versatility of that shoe was fantastic. I did use it in a few more workouts. Despite it being heavy, it was just such a super comfy shoe and I really enjoyed taking it across such a, a, a broad spectrum of workouts. Long runs, easy runs, you name it, the version one did it. This one for me, with the slight tweaks that they made, really did kind of sit it back into that easy and moderate category. I have done some long runs in this, by the way, I've got to state I've done some long runs, easier long runs, no, not pushing the pace or anything. But when I felt like going out on a long run and just relaxing, this is a shoe that I've gravitated towards. Now, we have hit 300 miles relatively quickly in this shoe. I have a lot of shoes in my rotation and this has just become my go-to running shoe for easy and moderate days. There's no question. The Mac 4 have now been retired from running and they're now my walking shoe. So this really is the obvious option in my rotation. I have others to choose from, but I always gravitate towards this. So when we talk about long runs, we've been done anything from 15 to 18 miles, nice and relaxed, nice and easy. When we're talking about easy runs, we're talking anything from sort of 6 through to 10, 12 miles. Again, nice and easy pace. A moderate pace, we're talking somewhere halfway between easy pace 
a marathon pace. So somewhere in and around that region, that's where we've been using this shoe and it fits in there really, really nicely. So finally, will I continue to use this shoe moving forwards? You better believe it. This is in such good condition for 300 miles and it is absolutely nowhere near done. There's a couple of things I want to make a note of and tell you guys as best as possible. And that's the midsole and that's the upper. I've actually had a chance before I sat down and recorded this uh, to study the shoe, really have a good look at it. Because obviously I'm just lacing this thing up and running it because it feels so good and I'm not paying any attention to the shoe itself and how it's looking or feeling. And I've got to say, number one, the upper is in pristine condition. I mean, just looking at this toe box here, just looking at how the fabric is, there's just no signs of wear and tear along the sides here. There's nothing, it's just a little bit dirty. For a shoe that's got 300 miles in it, showing no wear and tear anywhere, especially around the heel, this is still as plush as the day I bought it. There's no compression in the foam here, and it's getting so much use, it just blows my mind. And secondly, this midsole, still the best midsole out there. I, I cannot, it, it is the best midsole foam out there for easy and daily running. Yeah, I get it, Zoom X is amazing. It's brilliant in the next percent, especially for racing. But obviously I can't try the Metaspeed Sky or Edge, so I can't tell you uh, what those are like in terms of using the Flight Foam Turbo, uh, how good that is compared to the next percent. But in terms of every other foam, I mean, come on. This, after 300 miles, the bounce is still there, the comfort's still there everything is still intact. It is just such a good shoe. Now, we've got to say the tweaks from version one to version two did make this version a little bit more underwhelming than version one. Version one, I used it so much more in terms of versatility. It was, it, it felt poppier. It felt like it was going to spring me forward more. And that was more to do with the fact that it was a 10 mil drop, whereas this is eight. So it's lost a bit of, it's lost a bit of that tilt. It lost a bit of that feeling where you're on your toes and this is a lot more kind of all rounded cushion. So it feels like it's just going to soak you in and, and, and be a little bit less bouncy forward. Having said that, it's testament to this shoe that I just want to keep reaching for it. And actually, I'm quite happy with the update. I am, I've come, the more miles I'm putting in this shoe, I've got to 300 in this quicker than I did with version one. Okay, and with version one, I had a similar amount of shoes in my rotation. And I was finding myself rotating between a lot of different shoes. But this thing, I just want to use this shoe. And that speaks absolute volume. So without waffling on too much, which I know I am, I, I, can't, I can't get over to you guys just how much I love this shoe and how good it is for a daily trainer. There's there's nothing else at the moment that I would want to use for a daily trainer for easy and moderate miles other than this. I mean, don't get me wrong, some of my speed shoes are a bit better for moderate miles, but for easy running and for long runs that are relaxed and just all round general daily trainer, this thing is just in a class of its own. So there we go, that's my update for the Nova Blast version two after 300 miles. And I have to ask the question, I've got to ask you guys, do you have similar thoughts and feelings towards the shoe like I do with the Nova Blast? As you can see, I'm quite passionate about this shoe and, and rightly so, I feel like when we're running, we're spending a lot of time out there. We want shoes that are just gonna work for us and this thing, despite all of the, all the fancy gizmos and gadgets out there and shoes that do this and shoes with this and that and the other, Sometimes when you just find a shoe that works for you, you just got to embrace it and you've got to enjoy it. And I'm so grateful for all the shoes that I get to test, whether I purchase, I mean, most of the shoes I purchase with my own money. Yes, I've had some shoes recently sent to me, but the majority of them I buy. And I've got to say the Nova Blast once again, just stands out as, a, as an absolute belter of a shoe, an all rounder. And as I said earlier, it speaks volumes that I just want to reach for that shoe. So I'd love to know in the comments below, A, do you have that, that similar thoughts and feelings to the Nova Blast that I do? Or if not, what's that shoe that really gets you going, that really is just Mr. Reliable, is just that shoe that you want to lace up day in, day out, that you can't get better. Now, obviously I've seen pictures of the Nova Blast version three going around. It's been on Instagram. They're quite readily available, and I know they're gonna become available to a few people to test relatively soon, um, but we're talking an autumn release here, so we've got quite a while to wait. But again, 
it looks better and I can confirm it shed some weight, quite a significant amount of weight as well, which is music to my ears. I mean, we're talking here, this suddenly is gonna go from being this easy run shoe that can do moderate runs to for sure for me an easy and moderate run shoe with the scope for doing longer tempo runs if it really is gonna shed a few pounds. I mean, let's be honest with you, we all want the Nova Blast to lose a little bit of weight because then suddenly it's gonna put it into a whole new bracket of shoe. So I'm really excited for that. And if you are on Instagram and you have not seen the pictures going around in the Nova Blast 3, drop me a message and I'll send you a photo of it because I've got it saved in my on my camera and it looks absolutely epic. But anyway, that's my update for version two. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. And as always, I appreciate your support on these long-term reviews. You know, I do love to try and do more of these. I've been really making an effort this year to put more miles in, in certain shoes that I'm really loving and give you guys a lowdown and update. 600 plus mile shoe right here, well worth the money. And don't forget, you can grab your shoes using the link in the description below. It goes through to sportshoes.co.uk, charges you nothing extra, and I do earn a little bit of commission per sale on there. So if you get to use that link, it will be very much appreciated. That's it for today, guys. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Until then.